Good morning to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another drop list video. The series where we cover all the items that are releasing in a specific week for various different streetwear brands. And in today's video, we're going to be covering everything that is dropping in week 17 of Supreme's Spring Summer 2021 collection. But before we start talking about week 17 guys, I've just got to say a big thank you to you guys for constantly supporting the channel once again. I asked if we could hit the subscriber milestone of 3,025 subscribers before the end of June. And what do you know, you guys came in once again <laughs> and helped us reach that milestone, guys. So we have reached 3,025 subscribers before the end of June, which means I'm gonna update our little subscriber icon here from 3,000 3,025 because well YouTube doesn't give you anything until you reach 100k so I've got to come up with our own little milestones until then and I mean never say never but maybe one day we might have that 100k we'll just have to wait and see <laughs> we're a long way off so it's a big dream you know it's a dream very much down the pipeline but I'd like to thank you nonetheless for helping me reach 3,025 subs guys uh, hopefully we can reach I mean 3050 subs would be a big ask so I think the next subscriber milestone that we were that I'll ask for is 3030 can we hit 3030 subscribers before the end of June hopefully with your continuous support guys we can but let's start talking about well the thing that you're all coming to this video for which is week 17 of supreme spring summer 2021 collection now uh, i reckon this will be either the second last week or the third last week of the spring summer season supreme seasons are normally around 18 sometimes 19 weeks it's uncommon for them to be 19 weeks which is why i'm saying this week week 17 could either be the second or third final week of the season because there could be week 18 and week 19 but we don't know it could just be week 17 this week and then the last week for week uh for the spring summer season could be next week we'll just have to wait and see but this week we are getting a collaboration. It was announced early this week that we are gonna be getting a Vans collaboration. They've been quite hit or miss over the seasons on whether they were good collabs or not. The most recent one, the one that was um, a bunch of old schools that were made of denim that had Supreme plastered on the upper panel where the um, sock liner was, was kind of cool. I'll have to go find an image of them for you because I can't remember which season they came out, but they were very good. I thought they were pretty cool. Um, either way, let's see what this Vans collaboration is going to look like. Let's see what all the pieces are going to look like. How we're going to be doing that is by using a Supreme Community page. We'll cover the drop time, drop date, all the pieces releasing in it, the retails, my thoughts and opinions on each item, and of course, my thoughts and opinions on the week as a whole. Let's head on over to that Supreme Community page now and we'll start covering the drop time and drop date for week 17. Now here we are guys at the week 17 Supreme Community page. If you guys want to vote on the items yourselves, it'll be linked down in that description section below. So you can head on down there, click on that link and vote for the items yourselves. We'll cover the release details like I just mentioned first and then we'll dive into all the items releasing this week. And well, it's going to be a funky ass week if we've got a towel, a jet ski and uh, <laughs> the vans being the top three items this week. It makes me worried on what we have coming, you know, in the rest of this week's drop, but uh, we'll just have to see. Let's cover those release details first. So the drop list for week 17. The items will be releasing uh, in week 17 on the 17th of June, 2021. I actually thought that was pretty funny. Imagine that. Week 17 releases on the 17th of June. There's probably very few seasons where the weeks actually line up with the same day of the month that they drop in. Like that's, I don't know. Anyone else thought that was kind of cool? I thought that was kind of cool. Either way, they have an online release 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the US and 11 a.m. British Standard Time in the EU. And then they'll be dropping if Thursday is the 17th, Saturday is going to be the 19th, and that's when it'll be dropping in Japan for all you Japanese viewers out there. So there we go. For the US and EU, the 17th. Japan the 19th and it'll be dropping 11 a.m. in the respective time zones for depending on which region you're after and if you're like me and you live in Australia 
well, you miss out regardless. <laughs> it, it is what it is. When Supreme opens their Australia store in like 2050, I'll be sitting here on YouTube being like, damn, it's finally here. <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see, guys. But yes, that is all the drop details for week 17. Now, to cover all the items releasing in week 17, we'll do what we always do when it comes to these drop list videos, and we'll cover the individual sections along the side here. So let's jump into our first section of week 17, which is going to be the jacket. Hmm. Something tells me that they are. Uh, they screwed up here. <laughs> because <laughs> one of these looks like a very odd uh, jacket <laughs> uh yeah okay well um i guess we'll vote on that item as well because it's here but let's get into the first actual jacket this week which is the patched denim vest so uh this week we're also getting a bunch of themed pieces it's this patched denim where uh, the piece is essentially made up of a bunch of different denim patches and it's all spliced together and it gives it like a checkerboard kind of pattern. Uh, I think these are kind of cool. I just don't like it on a denim vest. I feel like uh, this pattern would have looked really, really nice on a denim jacket, like a trucker jacket or something like that. Uh, a denim, maybe even bomber jacket if they're willing to go like um, that loose uh, look with the actual jacket itself to give it a bomber jacket type feel and silhouette but uh, yeah on a on a vest no nah, I think that looks kind of whack that's that's kind of whack moving into the uh, next jacket we have the uh, Vega sunglasses uh, I don't know man I, I have issues with supreme sunglasses a lot of the time they look like something you could buy from a servo for like 10 15 bucks you know, like, oh, well, a lot of you Americans probably know what I mean when I say servo, but gas station, they look like gas station sunglasses, and I can never get over that. Why would I want to pay 168 US dollars for gas station sunglasses that I could buy for $10 when I head to a music festival or something like that, you know? Like, I, I, I don't know. I can't justify it. There are some nice Supreme sunglasses, but uh, these ones in particular, these um, Vega ones, or uh, what, however you pronounce it, they're not for me. Next, we move into the Five Burrows Coach's Jacket. Uh, it features Supreme on the left breast, I assume embroidered, and on the back, I reckon it's gonna have the Five Burrows listed in some way, shape, or form. It comes in five colors, black, red, navy, brown, and yellow, uh, or potentially maybe each color works for a single burrow. No, they wouldn't do that. They would just have all the five burrows listed on each of them. What am I on about? They wouldn't do burrow exclusive colors or anything like that. Although that would be kind of cool, actually. Uh, well, it's 138 US dollars. It's actually a pretty good price for a jacket, all things considered. If you just want a basic Supreme coach's jacket, this is definitely a pickup. I don't mind it too much. I don't have any issues with it. Uh, it's not a piece that I would buy and wear, but it's literally such an easy piece to wear. I have no issues with it. So I'm just going to give it a thumbs up because... It's an alright piece. It's okay. Uh, that's all the jackets releasing this week, guys. We got two of them, plus um, a not-so-jacket looking piece. Uh, let's move into the hats and see what hats we are getting in week 17. Looks like we're getting more than just three this week, guys. We're getting three up the top here. An odd uh, hat slash jacket slash sunglasses that we've seen before, and a fifth one over here as well. So let's kick it off by start by start talking about number five. We have the Wrap Jacquard Logos Denim Six Panel. It's a denim six panel Supreme cap with Supreme written multiple times all over the cap itself. It comes in a black, blue, and green denim, and then it has the um, Supreme logo embroidered on the front of it there. I don't know, man. I think it's kind of an ugly hat. Definitely not something I would be looking to wear there. Moving into the uh, Warp Jacquard Logos Denim Crusher. Um, this is the same pattern, but applied to a crusher cap. I like it more than the cap, but I still am not a fan of this piece. Moving into the final two hats, which I have to say are actually really good pieces, and I actually quite like them. We have the Gons Star Camp Cap, so we have Gons's iconic art style that he did for Supreme, uh, applied to a camp cap. This piece is going to be a very hard piece to pick up, and I can definitely see a lot of people looking for it on the secondary market when it sells out. I actually quite like it, I like it in either the black or the white, with my preference going to the black, but it's a nice little piece there. 
And last but not least in the hats section for week 17, we have the bandana crusher. So this is the bandana print we've seen all this season. We've seen it on caps. We've seen it on small box logo tees. We've seen it on bomber, faux fur jackets. We've seen it on everything, literally on bags. Like it has appeared this season so many times. No issues with it, but it's just been like a big, big uh, pattern that's been in this spring summer season. I'm a fan of it. I'm a fan of it on this Crusher cap. I think it's really good on a lot of the pieces it's released this season. As I've been saying every single video, I'm still on the hunt for that extra large black uh, bandana bomber jacket that they released in week one. Harder to find than you'd think it is, guys. But yeah, I like this piece. Gonna give it a thumbs up. The red, blue, and black are my favorite, but I can see the pink and cream uh, being very popular as well. Uh, let's move into the pants now and see what pants we're getting this week. <laughs> it's haunting me. Ever since I made those negative comments about it, it just keeps reappearing. <laughs> it's going to follow me the whole way through. Oh, God. Well, we're only getting one pair of pants this week, guys, which is the patched denim painter pants. So... Uh, they haven't mentioned that they are doubled knees, unfortunately, so it looks like they're just single knee denim pants, so they don't have two layers over the top of the knees for that extra durability, but they have the painter fit, so they're going to have the little pocket off to the uh, either left or right hand side of it, where obviously you put paint brushes and crap, um, but yeah. Yeah, that's really it. It's the silhouette of painter pants. Unfortunately, not double knees, but they are the patchwork ones with all the little patches all over it. I actually think these are kind of cool. This is a really unique color. This, um, ah, uh, it's like a mix, but it's like a very light orange mixed with like a little bit of a tanned color as well. Really hard to put a pin on exactly what you would call this color but i like it in the blue i like it in the black not so much that third color but i can see that third color being quite popular as well interesting that it's so downvoted 168 i'd much rather spend 168 dollars on this denim pants than i would that denim vest so i'm gonna give this one a thumbs up but that's all the pants releasing this week guys let's move into the shorts and see what shorts we are getting in week 17. Now we are getting three pairs of shorts releasing this week, guys, and I do not mean this one here. I mean this third pair down here. Uh, what we have to kick off week 17 in the shorts section, we have the Beetle shorts, another graphic that is making a regular occurrence, uh, appearance this week. Uh, it features a Beetle graphic in black, blue, and uh, white. I'm going to completely agree with the Supreme community here and downvote this to hell because that is a nasty ass looking piece. Do not be seen wearing beetle shorts, guys. No, no, no. Next, we move into the cargo water shorts. Uh, some cargo uh, uh, board shorts for swimming in. I mean, they come in some alright colors. There's nothing too crazy about them. I'll give them a thumbs up. Why not? Wear some black ones, wear some blue ones in the summertime. Why not, right? Next, we move into the small bo uh, box sweat shorts. So these will be uh, cotton sweat shorts. I, I never saw the appeal of sweat shorts, man. I'd rather just wear sweatpants. Um, it's, I don't know, to me, it's just a weird concept, just cutting sweatpants at the knees. Like, why not just wear proper shorts? Well, not even proper shorts, but a different silhouette of shorts at that point. But heaps of people are feeling them because they got the small box logo on them. I'm not feeling them because it's just a wax silhouette. Just not something that I could see myself wearing. Imagine grabbing some champion sweatpants and then cutting them at the knees. That's essentially what these are. And I, I just think that's weird. Anyway, let's move into the accessories. And I'm feeling that all the accessories are going to be is the jet ski and the sunglasses this week. But I could be wrong. Let's see what other accessories we would be getting this week. Oh, of course, it's the five burrows towel as well. Well, let's just cover the rest of these pieces quite quickly. So to start off with, we have the gold top sunglasses, um, a very odd silhouette, but it could have been a redeemable silhouette if Supreme released it in nice colors. Supreme said no, and they released it in turtle shell, uh, pink, black with a weird trim on the top, and cow. Uh, no then. <laughs> That's going to be a no for me. Uh, next, we move into the downtown sunglasses. I like the oval silhouette of the actual shades themselves. I wouldn't mind them in a black, but the other colors, not so much. Maybe the red. 
Uh, but yeah, the other colors aren't doing it for me, so I'll give it a thumbs up for the black. We know how, we all by now know how I feel about these here, so I think we'll just skip those. Next, moving to the Brooks sunglasses. I quite like the silhouette of these. It's quite an oval shape um, for the actual lens itself. Looks very cool. I can think of a bunch of outfits that I could wear and have these as like an accessory in it. I like them in the black. The gold ain't too bad and the silver isn't that bad either. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. That's definitely the best pair of sunglasses that Supreme's releasing this season. Moving into this, we have what initially was the friends and family release last week is now an in-store release only this week. We have the Supreme Sea Do Spark Tricks, uh, the jet ski, obviously. Uh, yeah, look, they haven't showcased what the retail is going to be, and I don't even want to think about what the hell the retail is going to be. Uh, if you want this and you can afford it, good on you, but I can think of a lot better things I'd rather spend my money on, and I don't have a beachfront property. <laughs> I live in the suburbs, so uh, I can't imagine myself using the jet ski anytime soon. So it's going to remain a thumbs down for me from week 16. I just can't justify it at all. And moving into the last accessory we have this week, which is the Five Burrows t uh, sorry, towel. It has Supreme, Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, and of course the island of Staten. Uh, I like it. It's 58 bucks for a tee, which really showcases the roots of where Supreme's from. Good old New York. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. You can't go wrong with a towel like this. It's a nice little towel and it's a nice color that it comes in as well Well, we've only got four more sections left for week 17 guys We have the shoes shirts top slash sweaters and the sweatshirts. Let's dive into the shoes It's obviously going to be the vans. Let's see how the vans turned out Okay, guys, we have two models releasing this week. We have the uh, S logo skate grosso mid and the Era S logo ones as well. So no old schools, which is quite unconventional for a Supreme Vans collaboration, but I, spro I suppose a welcome one because it's a change of pace. Kick it off with, we'll start talking about the Monogram Grosso. So we have the Supreme Vans Monogram S logo Skate Grosso Mid. Woo! What a mouthful that is. It features an all over print on the mid panel here, and then it's just black and white throughout. It does come in other colors as well. I think it comes in a red and a blue color as well. So it's either like blue or white or red or white. I think those are the colors it comes in. Uh, I would mainly be interested in the black one. I don't like the print on the side of the panel there. So it's going to be a downvote for me for that. I just, yeah, I, I'm not a huge fan of whatever the hell they're trying to do here. Then we're moving into the Monogram S Logo Skate Errors. Uh, the same print, but it's applied all over the upper. Not really a fan of all over like prints like this. It reminds me too much of like um, like a tiger's print or something like that. So the shoes are going to be a miss for me this week. But um, let's go check out the shirts and see what shirts are releasing in week 17. And we have two shirts releasing this week, guys. We have the Beetle short sleeve shirt. Uh, yeah. I mean, in the white, it's all right, but it's just a weird vibe. And depending on how you look aesthetically, I mean, not that you should care about the external looks that you're getting for wearing clothing, but you got to register that if you're wearing a beetle shirt and you look like the type of person that collects beetles in like little uh, glass thingy mabobbies, I don't know, you, you're going to give off those vibes. And if you're fine with those vibes being given off, then that's fine. <laughs> but it's like, I don't know, man. It really depends on your personality and how you look and whether or not you can pull off this shirt. Uh, yeah, that's all I really got to say about it. For me, I just don't want to be seen in a Beetle short sleeve shirt. <laughs> just not for me. And not for 148 bucks, that's for sure. Uh, next, we have a lightweight plaid short sleeve shirt. Um, this one features a plaid print all over it and Supreme on the back of it there. Eh. It's just not that good looking, is it? It's a pretty ugly plaid colors and the logo you can barely even see. Just not a piece that I'd consider picking up at all, to be honest. Uh, we've only got two sections left for week 17, guys. We've got the tops slash sweaters and the sweat, sweat shirts. Let's dive into the tops slash sweaters and see what we are getting this week. Oh god, week 17 is a cursed week. It's just constant beetle stuff. <laughs> yes, this week we're only getting one top slash sweater. It's the beetle soccer top. So it's like my ODB soccer jersey that I unboxed recently on the channel. Except it has a huge beetle on it instead of a Wu-Tang Clan member. And you know what? I prefer my Wu-Tang Clan member one. 
I'm gonna give it a down vote. I don't why why Beatles? Why Beatles? Thanks, Supreme. Anyway, that's all the top slash sweaters this week. Let's dive into our final section, one of my favorite sections to cover, which is the sweatshirts. <laughs> I was gonna say, I swear to god, if I see a beetle hoodie, I'm gonna go wild on the video. <laughs> but luckily, no beetle hoodie. Thank god. Okay, well. What we have to kick it off with is a denim logo hooded sweatshirt. I actually kind of like this. It has the Supreme logo on the chest made out of denim on top of a obviously cotton hoodie. I think this is a cool concept and I kind of like how the logo is different colors of denim on the inside of it. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I think it's kind of cool. I like it in the white, the um, black and even the brown's kind of nice. The logo looks nice on the brown. Uh, next, we have the small box logo crew neck. Uh, it features an overdyed one as well. I'm not a huge fan of that. The orange and all the solid colors, that's definitely my preference. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. It's a very solid, easy piece to wear. But you do, honestly, you could probably go on Grailed and find one for around retail or less. They just release them all the time. So there's bound to be some up on Grailed somewhere. But that is it, guys. That is everything for week 17. So how are we going to summarize week 17? Yeah, look, it's a sleeper week. I mean, as I've been saying over the past couple of weeks, as we get closer towards the end of the season, they're just going to be giving us a lot of crap that they um, that they have left over. But in saying that, there are some cool pieces releasing this week, though. Uh, it's not like an absolutely horrible week like we had a couple of weeks ago. Like the bandana crushers, cool. The small box logo crew neck is an easy wear. The Gons uh, camp cap is definitely a highlight. The Brooks sunglasses is definitely a highlight. The Five Burrows coach's jacket is good. Uh, I like the denim logo hooded sweatshirt. I don't think that's too bad. Uh, we can miss me with all the beetle stuff. And uh, the towel. It's a nice little accessory to have. I can see a lot of uh, Supreme Collectors buying it and putting it in their accessory room. I wasn't a huge fan of the Vans collaboration, but maybe you guys were. Let me know how you feel about the Vans collaboration and the week in general down in that comment section below. But that's everything to be said about week 17 of Supreme's Spring Summer 2021 collection. It's releasing on the 17th of June, which I still got to say is pretty cool, uh, at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the EU and the US. Uh, and then in Japan, it's releasing on the Saturday on the 19th. Uh, we covered all the items releasing in it. We covered all my thoughts and opinions on every individual item and the week as a whole. I want to hear from the people picking up something this week. What are you feeling in week 17 and which color are you feeling it in? I mean, obviously there's heaps of pieces here that come in various different colors. So I want to hear from you. What are you picking it up? What are you picking up in week 17 and what color are you picking up? Let me know down in that comment section below. Of course, guys, if you guys want me to keep covering all the upcoming weeks of this season and the next season, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, comment in the comment section down below, and a subscribe to the channel as we are trying to hit that new subscriber milestone that I set at the start of the video as well, which is 3030 or 3030 subscribers. Hopefully, with your continuous support, we can reach that subscriber milestone before the end of the month. That's everything I got to say about week 17 though guys, so good luck to all you guys out there looking to pick up something this week. I hope you managed to pick it up in the size and color that you are looking for, but until the next drop list video, until the next Supreme video, until the next Streetwear Talk video in general guys, I'll catch you later.